Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this video was request requested by a subscriber. They asked me to do a video on puzzles because puzzles are hot, hot, hot right now. Now, the one thing about puzzles is, is they're hot right now because everybody's on lockdown. So more people are selling them, more people are buying them, and probably the prices are a little higher than normal. Not 100% sure, but there are three types of puzzles to look for that I found from my research that I'm going to share with you. Amazing, 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 amazing. And if you can find them, you are going to be in the money. So I'm going to start with some recent solds, kind of show you guys what's going on with the economy being the way it is. And then we're going to go into those big money ones so that you guys know what to look for when you're out thrifting, garage sailing. Um, what's the other place? Thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. Estate sales is a good one. All right, let's get started. So uh, like I said, right now, puzzles are hot. And that's why the person probably requested this. But I'm just going to show you some recent solds. Right now, auctions, 13,366 results. Let's look at buy it now. 94,255 results. So yeah, puzzles are hopping right now. Um, I want to go in and just show you some of the solds. These are recently ended, and I like to look at auctions because I like to see how many bids they got. Um, so this one, one bid, but that's a whole bunch of puzzles. So you can see a lot of them are still going cheap. This one went for 200, 227, 37, 152. I'm guessing people that have some of the high dollar ones are probably choosing to sell them right now because they're gonna get probably high do top dollar for them. Cereal boxes, this one's cool, a thousand piece puzzle. It is sealed, sold for 72. This Disney, <coughs> excuse me, sold for 43, 51, this one 10. I mean, they're kind of all over the place, but you can see there's a lot of 30s, 40s, 50s, but there's also a lot of low ones. From looking at this, my recommendation would be to do, look at comps and price your item accordingly. Price it maybe a little bit high, like maybe find the highest sold and price it just a little above that and then put best offer on it so that you have some wiggle room to negotiate with people or you can run a sale. Um, so yeah, puzzles are crazy, crazy, crazy right now. People are doing lots of puzzles. I mean, you can only watch so much TV and YouTube, right? All right, let's look at a, a little, a few more. And like, see, this only went for $1.99, which is a bummer. If they would have listed that at, it's a lot of eight puzzles. If they would have listed that at $25 or best offer plus shipping, they probably would have still sold it. I don't know why it went so low. Um, I, I don't know. So that's my recommendation. You guys do your research and do it however you want. But you can see some of these people probably thought they were going to get a lot of money for their item and they went for 10 bucks. So. All right, let's look at the big money uh, puzzles. The first brand you want to look for is Stave, S-T-A-V-E. And they come in a solid box. Here's what it, it's got here. So it says Frog Prince and it says crafted by Diana. So I'm pretty sure that these are all handmade. And look at the, the detail of these puzzles. They're wooden puzzles and they are they're amazing. That's all I have to say is amazing. So I don't know, $910 and it's used 345 pieces. Here's another stave. This one went for 880. It only had one bid, but there's what it looks like. Here's another stave and it says stave across the front. So I'm wondering if this is actually the company that has this might be the company's store. I'm not really sure. But that one was from 2003. This one looks like maybe it says is it 2010. Let's see other items. But that one sold for $723. Yeah, they've that's all they have and they have two of them. So let's look at their solds. Yeah, I mean, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, here's another one. 
this one. Yeah, it's the same, the same seller. So I wonder if no longer available on the Stave website from 1999. I don't know. I was wondering if like uh, maybe the person was affiliated with Stave or maybe they were a collector because that's all they have on their store. But yeah, how cool are the pieces? That one's really neat. It's like dimensional. This one sold for 660 and again, it says Stave across it. It's, uh, what do you call that? A watermark? Or maybe um, it's a stock photo from the website, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Not really sure, but this is from 2015. And you can just see it's beautiful. I mean, it's just amazing. So this was crafted by, is that Becky? And same store. So either somebody is affiliated with Stave or this is somebody from that company or this is a collector that is selling off their um, their pieces. This one's from 2006, sold for $658. Now, Liberty Wooden Puzzles are the other ones to be on the lookout for. And you can see they're the wooden pieces. They're very, very detailed. Um, Look at that. That's amazing. And we're going to go in and talk about this also. Used four times in perfect condition, sold for $610. And these are wooden puzzles. Look at that. Liberty Puzzles, Dr. Seuss, $610. So cool. Here's another one. This one is a plethora of fish. That looks like the Dr. Seuss. Are those the same? Did I pull up the listing twice? I might have. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's another stave, $560. And same seller. Stave wooden puzzle sold for $550 with one bid. This looks like a different seller. They only have three feedback. So they're like, I'm going to sell my puzzle right now. It's like prime time to sell puzzles. Um, you can see no description and it still went for $550. Here's an Elms wooden jigsaw puzzle. And this is not one of the ones that was one of the top ones, but again, it's a wood puzzle. So any wood puzzle, I'm gonna say grab it. Uh, this one has 580 pieces. You don't even know what it is. Does it say on the box, knit one, pearl two? I don't know what that means. Uh, but it sold for twenty uh, $529 with 25 bids plus shipping. So number one thing to look for, wood puzzles. And you're looking for Stave Liberty. And it looks like this Elms brand is pretty good as well. There's one more thing I'm going to share with you to look for. So here's another Liberty. This one went for $510. I mean, look at the cool little animals. I... I mean, I used to like puzzles, but I just don't have time for puzzles anymore. But I have to say, I wouldn't mind getting one of these puzzles. So cool. Liberty Wooden Puzzle, again. Just really detailed. Um, here is another Liberty Puzzle, 44 bids, $497. Now, this is a Star Wars puzzle, but wait, 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 yes, 18000 piece puzzle you guys and it's used one bag is open but pieces are accounted for oh my gosh would you want to be responsible for figuring out if all of those pieces were there extremely rare one of a kind one bag is open selling to pay for my dog's heartworm treatment <laughs> okay uh 390 seven bids here's another liberty puzzle 40 bids sold for 425 Another stave puzzle sold for $417. They, I mean, they're really, really neat. And I'm going to go into the different types of puzzles here at the end of the video. Uh, it's really, really neat. But this is a Liberty also, $413. A Liberty, and it's shaped like a bald eagle, $333 plus shipping. Now, here is a uh, Ravensburger, I think is how you say it. And it's a Disney puzzle, and it's 40,320 pieces. Oh, oh my goodness. 
and it's brand new and it sold for $256 plus shipping. So I'm going to say another thing to look for are puzzles with an enormous amount of pieces. Like the one had 18,000. This one has 40,000 and the one with Star Wars and this is Disney. So I'm sure that helps also. Here's another Liberty sold for 325 with 33 bids. And here's another stave. And this is a different seller and it sold for $320. So they did it with the cat and then they added the background, which is really neat. That one's $320.55 with four bids. And here's another Liberty puzzle. I love how they're in the shapes of animals and they're just beautiful. I mean, they are amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't even know these existed. I mean, maybe it's been in one of my what sold bolo videos, like 50 best bolos or something like that. But I never ha dug in and like put it into my mind like it will be now. Here's another Liberty puzzle and it's $246.51, 26 bids, super, super cool. And let's talk about the Stave web website. So you guys can still get Stave items, okay? So shop for puzzles. This is really interesting. So they have traditional jigsaw puzzles. They have teasers. Zoom in here. Tricks. Troublemakers. Tormentors. Treats. Tidbits. And limited editions. And then there's occasions. There's themes. Custom puzzles. Boards and boxes. So really, really neat. You guys should definitely go check out this website um, about Stave. Um, learn the basics, frequently asked questions about Stave puzzles. Let's just kind of dig in here a little bit. It says Stave craftsmanship is hand cut one piece at a time by skilled crafters. And as you saw on the box, it actually has the crafters names. No computers, no high tech, one saw, one cutter, that's it, using lots of imagination and a little bit of magic. We handcraft each puzzle piece by piece using precision jigsaws and blades no wider than an eyelash. After the cherry back is carefully sanded and polished to a soft gleam, the puzzle is placed inside a beautiful keepsake handmade box. There's no other puzzle in the world quite like a stave, and there's no other experience like solving one. The fun isn't just what's inside the box, it's everything about stave. So super, super cool. Um, again, go check out this website. I'll try to remember to link it down below. But if you just type in stave puzzles, you will definitely find it. But just really, really neat. And it looks like they um, starts game business. So yeah, there's some sort of timeline for something. But anyway, and then you can also go to uh, Wikipedia. And it tells you more about stave puzzles. I'm not going to sit here and read everything to you, but it does say uh, hand cut jigsaw puzzles made from cherry backed five layered one fourth inch wood, which is kind of neat. Um, it says each puzzle is provided in a green and blue box and does not include a picture of the completed puzzle. And it's the largest hand cut jigsaw puzzle company in the United States and competes with laser cutting companies like Liberty Puzzles. And, you know, that's the next one we're going to talk about is Liberty Puzzles. So here's Liberty Puzzles, which is still in, you know, you can still get puzzles. But there's puzzles by category, by size. Um, I was trying to see custom puzzles. You can get custom puzzles. So it says, we'll create a custom puzzle of an image you provide, whether it's family, vacation, and pricing for a small one's 130 and a large is 160. So from what I read just on the Wikipedia, these must be laser cut, but they are wood. If I understand, let's see, about us. Um, Liberty puzzles are a throwback to the golden age of jigsaw puzzles. Each one contains dozens of hand-drawn whimsy pieces intricately cut into the shapes of characters, animals, and geometric designs. They are works of art within art. The puzzles are made with one fourth plywood and use advanced print technology for eye popping color. We offer over 650 different puzzles on the website and we add new items year round. 
So you can see this is a whimsy piece. Whimsy pieces are cut in the shapes of recognizable objects such as characters, animals, or complex geometric shapes. All of our puzzles contain as many whims whimsy pieces as we can fit, usually 15 to 20% of the total. That is so neat. So yeah, and you guys can go to this website as well and look at some more information on it. But I will post a link down below of this also. But if you guys can find these in the wild, they're money. And then also Wikipedia has Liberty Puzzles and you can read more about that. Um, I think I just read most of it on that page. Uh, let's see, surprise, let's see, uh, let's, with the family inherited several hand-cut wooden puzzles from the 30s, surprised by the value of hand-cut wooden jigsaw puzzles, which can sell for more than a thousand each, worth, or, worth, worth, W-I-R-T-H, decided to start a business using modern cutting technologies with a goal of producing puzzles in the $100 range. But you guys saw what the Liberty puzzles are selling for. They're selling for big money. So the big money puzzles to look for are Stave, Liberty, that Elm, was it Elms? That was pretty good too. And then um, the items with tons and tons of pieces. So be on the lookout. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate your time and I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.